The surface area of this is 60 acres yeah. and um, we normally have uh, nearly 2,000 megs of water but just the amount of um, non-rain and just the dry time like we haven't we haven't pumped into here in nearly three years wow. yeah so we haven't had a significant rainfall in the district in in that three-year period We just haven't had it in the district, and even when Bundaberg has had the rain, um, localised rain, we, we haven't had any here. Yeah, where do, where do we go from here? Yeah. Well, Galloway Plains about 30,000 acres. This dam here it was um, it was probably the largest dam on the property, yeah. um, and they called it the ski dam because this is where Leo used to go skiing. Yeah, go skiing. But I've never seen it dry before. This dam, I've never seen it dry, dry. So we've been here. Well, what's that? 156, six generations. We'd have about three and a half, uh, two and a half thousand breeders, plus another thousand sort of drier cattle. So we've got three and a half thousand, we got about, oh, about a thousand head back on the range there. The further west and the further away from your markets, it's more difficult for people to, um, you know, particularly in drought conditions, if they're in debt, you know, with banks and whatnot, well, it's difficult when you've got them huge costs in transport, fuel and We're not used to this type of weather up here. <laughs> we used to, you can usually say to people, you know, we get good general rain every year, year after year. It's just been two poor seasons in a row. And um, what's unusual here is this sort of shortage of grass we've got. Like this paddock here will usually run three to 400 younger cattle and still grass like that. But no, we've been, we've probably got half that or less than half that here. And yeah, it's gone back really quick. If we had put in no artificial water, yeah. there'd be no natural water left. Like on Cedar Vale, yeah. the only water that's there is what we've put there. The kangaroos are all watering off the, off the troughs okay. as well. Okay. Yep. So without that, there'd be no kangaroos or nothing left, no wildlife at all. So I don't think people think about that. No. All they want to do is bash the fellow on the land and <laughs> at the moment. Ah, not trucking water yet, but geez. Got the bore here, but elsewhere dams are going down. We, um, well, we will run out. Some of the country elsewhere has got no bores. Once those dams are dry, that'll be it. Um, probably till Christmas, and then, oh, if we're lucky, and then I don't know what we'll do after that. We're just hoping for some rain. Oh, we've got a lot less now than what we ever than we've ever had. We just sold we just sold two thirds of the herd for the um, because of the drought. But now we've left ourselves with that means now there's nothing to sell next year. So while you get the, some income in uh, from that sale, it's got to, you've got to look at that holding over for two years if if the drought breaks. Yes. We'll look at the paddocks, we've got nothing left, and it's just, it, they're just it's just bare dirt. They've never, you know, just missed out and missed out and missed out on those storms. We normally water up it on the other side of your bobo there, but it's totally dry, it just never rained. <laughs> just didn't rain. <laughs> 